Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing okay. Welcome back to the channel, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a fabulous week so far. Um, I am full of cold today, but the sun is shining and I'm determined to get outside today. So I got up, I got ready, despite how I'm feeling. And it was already made me feel a little bit better, if I'm totally honest. Sometimes just, I know it's such a cliche, but sometimes just getting up and getting dressed and like getting ready does just make you feel better. I say I get dressed, but um, I'm very much in the comfiest outfit there has ever been. Um, I literally just did um, my makeup quickly whilst Hallie went down for her nap. George went to nursery this morning. I just realised the time on that clock. That is the wrong time. Um, George loves to just stand on this table and like fiddle with the clock and tell me it's like snack time or soft play time or whatever time, dinner time. Um, so that's the wrong time. It's not eight o'clock in the morning, it is 20 past 10. Um, but yeah, Hallie's down for a nap. I am dressed and ready. And I thought I could show you guys while I have a spare, fingers crossed, half an hour, um, that I could show you a few bits that I've added to my wardrobe recently. Getting ready for spring, getting into the warm months, hopefully, because I'm so done with the rain. <laughs> I'm so done with the wind. Um, and I feel like we're getting there because it's a sunny day today, the sun is shining, and I'm not cold to my bones. So we are definitely getting there. And I really wanted to say thank you to Halara because they're sponsoring this part of the video. They have got some absolute bangers this spring, and they've offered me my best discount code ever for you guys it's 20 shan and it gets you 20 percent off all the full priced items on the halara website like there are some really good bits on there so i highly recommend having a little browse on there some of the things i'm actually all the things i'm wearing right now are from halara and i know that you're gonna love them because anytime i ever wear any of the trousers leggings or joggers from halara that i already own you guys ask questions, uh, so I'm gonna share everything with you and I'll link everything down in the description box as well, but use my discount code, go have a browse. Yeah, let's get into it. So, like I said, first of all, this zipper jacket is from Halara. I've seen these everywhere and I just love it. So comfortable. It makes me feel like more put together than if I was wearing a hoodie, if that makes sense. Plus it's got these thumb holes, which I love. It makes me feel like, I don't know, I just feel really good in it. I could go to the gym, I could go to Tesco, I could do the housework, I could play with my baby. I could go to soft play, I'd be comfortable, but I'd still feel put together. And I've also got these crossover leggings. I just feel like they cinch you in at the right places. And I have these in so many colours, guys. I've got these in like a khaki colour, a muted brown colour. But these black ones are probably the ones that I wear the most, especially because I've got this like top to go with it, obviously. It just like completes the outfit sort of thing. The thing that I love the most about Halara leggings, the thing that I love the most is the pocket. <laughs> I love it so much because you have no idea how often I'm putting things in this pocket, mainly my phone or my keys. I had like a toy car in it this morning so I had to take that to nursery for George. Like it's just, it's just so good to have pockets in your leggings because you can still be comfortable but still have the practicality of a pocket. And honestly, this fabric is like the softest fabric ever. It's like a cloudful fabric. It feels like you're, it literally feels like you're naked. It's like that buttery soft. And the sizing guide on it is like from XS, extra small, all the way to like an XL. I've already had these in a small and a medium. Um, these ones are a medium. Um, and I feel like, to be honest, I'm probably somewhere between a small and a medium because of the fabric. I fit into both and they're both, they both work for my body because of the fabric kind of sculpts to my body shape, which is a winner because my postpartum body is still very much a postpartum body that is changing like here, there and everywhere. Talk to me at a different time of the month and I'll, I'll wear a different size basically. And then these ones are probably my most asked about pair of trousers that I ever wear. My most worn by far. They are very, very, very comfortable and I just, like I say, wear them all the time and everyone loves them. So they're these straight legged. Um, cargo trousers, high-waisted button cargo trousers from Halara with real pockets because not everything has real pockets these days um, and these ones do. I feel like the style of these is quite unique. I don't often see trousers like this but the, I can't emphasise enough the comfort levels on these are next level and they're just, they're just the best trousers. They just genuinely are. These are a size medium um, and I like that they're a little bit looser. That's just how I prefer it. Small would also fit, but they would be tighter on me and it'd just give a different look. I quite like the relaxed feel of them just because they're really comfortable. Like I keep saying, the fabric is so stretchy, thick, 
but long lasting. The colours, there's so many colours. I've got them in navy, I've got them in this khaki colour and I've also got them in a brown colour which I'll show you now. Like I said, these ones are the medium and then these ones are a small. So I'm going to show you the size difference on me who I think I'm like a UK 10 to 12 at the moment on my bottom half. To be honest, I don't know what size I am because I'm just in the whole like postpartum just like body changing constantly like I've already said so let's just see what fits better and these ones are the sepia color so these ones I'd say like hug me a little bit better like they are a little bit tighter obviously just because of that like a bit smaller they both fit me and like I said I kind of prefer to go for like a baggier style if I'm going more casual and then if I were to like dress up a bit more maybe chuck on some boots with these I've definitely done that in the past like that is probably what I would do with these ones like probably chuck on some heels or some boots and maybe a jacket and then that would be like a bit more dressy whereas the more casual ones because they're a little bit baggier I'd chuck a little like bomber jacket on with them or something and they can really go from one to the other because they're the trousers I feel like trousers you can dress up dress down very easily but they're also just so comfortable I cannot stress enough the comfort levels on these guys however if we're going to start talking comfort the trousers I'm wearing right now you cannot beat for comfort you cannot beat for the fabric and i just i just love them these are going to be my soft play trousers like 100 percent. oh my god i'm just going to show you these are the mid-rise the palazzo style like drawstring casual trousers and they are oh my gosh i love them i love them so much i think these are going to replace the other ones as my favorites because wow like i love them so much oh my gosh how can they be this baggy and comfortable but still flattering like how is that even possible i love them oh my gosh i'm obsessed and it is that fabric that is going to wash so nicely you know when sometimes things bobble or whatever like these are not going to do that because of the fabric i can't even explain to you like look at this i love this like it's like a modal fabric it's very like breathable and obviously because they're baggy you're going to get like the breeze through your legs but like while still being like fully covered so your legs aren't out you don't have to shake your legs like it's all good i also have a look on the website and these go from an extra small all the way to a 3x i just feel like these are going to be a winner for every single body type like wow i love them i love them um, this jacket is also from Halara. I just thought it was a nice little cropped number to go with like the baggier um, trousers to have like a nice little crop that kind of meets them like that. I just thought that would be quite nice. It's like a corduroy little number. I'll link this one down below as well. I'm just, I'm really, really happy with all the things I've got so far. And then another little jacket that I picked up was this one. I got this in a size large, this bomber jacket, because to be honest, there's nothing worse than being like, constricted when you're out with the kids or something like that having a baggier jacket where you can move around pick up kids and help them and get them on the slide and stuff like that like it's just a lot easier i always tend to use ash's jackets and then he's like i don't have a jacket if you wear that so i got my own and this one's perfect because it is obviously like a woman's style as well so it really really does like fit and goes with so many of the things i picked up all the browns all the greens all the blacks like perfect um, and then i also picked up these which are my favorite like summer um trousers from last year yeah 2023 wow last year um i had these in the brown color like the major brown i think it's called i lived in these like immediately postpartum they're so bloat friendly and like mum tum friendly and whatever like just body friendly like you know they're so so stretchy these are a medium and i loved how they fit so i got another one in a size medium i could probably go smaller but i don't want to like i want to be comfortable and the fabric on these are so nice they're like a nice like crepe and there's so much stretch i'm going to show you at the back this stretch is unbelievable because there's got this elastic in the back it's just it's just so nice and if you wanted to dress it up you could put a little belt in because it's got these belt loops um i don't really care like i quite like how they look i'll show you what they look like full length this is what they look like so they're like a proper wide leg i'll just like take off this jacket so you can see properly they're this wide leg and it's just the most comfortable it like feels like i'm not wearing anything it's so incredibly comfortable so stretchy like i say in the like spring months when it's still you know touch and go with the weather i'll wear like converse like this and then as soon as we get into summer baby i'm wearing birkenstocks with these literally every day like i kid you not i'm so glad i've got another pair of these because i wore those brown trousers 
every single day last time. And I feel like with just a plain t-shirt like this, bomber jacket, you're ready to go. I love it. And again, the sizing on these is great. It goes from extra small all the way to XL. It's so stretchy, like it's just so comfortable and I just feel like they know how to do trousers. Halara doesn't know how to do it. I'll show you what the brown ones look like now because these are ones that I wore day in, day out. They've been through the wash a million times. Like you'll get to see how durable they are. So let me just show you what they look like. Okay, so these are the brown ones and I just love them. I just love them so much. Like I say, in the summer with Birkenstrocks, even in the late spring, like these were my absolute go-to. They're just incredibly comfortable. And like I said, these ones have been through the wash a million times and they're still just like the perfect condition. And I just, I love the fabric. They feel very, very spring summery. They're not like the stretchy fabric, but they've got the stretch around the waist here. Um, but they feel like a little bit more structured and a bit more like, I don't know, it's just like that crap feeling where they feel just like very easy breezy and like the air is going to get up there it's like a nice thin fabric but still very durable it's just perfect for spring it's perfect and then i'd say these ones are more of a work trouser i have no plans on wearing these to work anytime soon because i'm still on maternity leave but i picked up these because i just really liked how they looked at the front there's like a nice pleat here i do probably need to steam them or something but they fit really nicely they're like a nice high waist they fit nicely but they're really comfortable and again with all polara trousers they have a nice bit of stretch to them with the elasticated waist which I love the detail on it's really nice again like I say with the the pockets the real pockets which I feel like we actually do need um, and a lot of women's trousers just have fake pockets on um and then yeah I just I just quite like how they feel like they're just a nice cotton nice straight leg with a heel or something and a blazer this would completely change up the look I am more of a casual girl myself but if you do want that versatile kind of piece in your wardrobe I feel like these are going to be that for me um, if I do want to go to like a meeting or keeping in touch day. Yeah, that's everything that I picked up this time from Halara and I'm really buzzing with it. I feel like their trousers are next level. I definitely recommend having a little browse on their website, but there's so many good pieces. Like you could be on there for hours. My discount code to remind you guys is 20SHAN and it gets you 20% off full price items on the Halara website. So I'll link everything that I've mentioned down below and my sizes and stuff. What do you think your favourite bit is? Because I genuinely don't know because every single thing I put on, I was like, yeah, these are my favourite, these are my favourite. I think the wide leg palazzo trousers with the massive pockets, that kind of might have stole the show for me because that was actually the first time putting it on properly like with an outfit and I was like, this is going to be my go-to soft play outfit and I feel like that's probably where I spend like a lot of my time and just the comfort levels are very key when you go to soft play. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that, very happy indeed. change Hallie's nappy now and then it's such a gorgeous day I'm gonna get outside I'm gonna get outside I'm wearing my new favorite trousers <laughs> um so we're gonna go for a little walk with Molly and um yeah we need to get rid of this nappy though so see you in a bit one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so do you want to get out for a walk at some point in this awake window um, before she goes down for a second nap. But obviously I need to give her a bottle and sort lunch, um, tidy up after lunch, then we could go for our walk. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do her like a little omelet. She had toast for breakfast. Um, so fingers crossed, you're gonna like this little omelet, hey. Um, she likes all those little fritter things that I've been doing for her. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog, or maybe a couple of vlogs ago, like loads of little fritters and things like that. But we've got a few like fresh bits in, so I thought I'd make something up. And then it also kind of encourages me to um, to eat as well. If I make her like an omelette, I can also have an omelette. Um, I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in mine maybe. Uh, but then we can eat together. And I think she genuinely does eat a lot better when I eat with her. Like this morning, we both had a bit of toast after we... Drop George off. And she was watching me eat my toast and then she was like picking hers up and eating hers like really well as well. Um, which sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice that we can eat together. Plus to be honest, I need, I need the encouragement because I often just think about the kids and then never actually feed myself. I know that a lot of you guys can relate to that because we always put ourselves last and we need to stop that. Um, so yeah, 
I'm gonna do you some lunch, Holly. Are you gonna go in your high chair with some toys? I got something out of my car this morning. Let me show you. Right, you can go here, look. Choo. Look at this. Whoa. Look at that. A family friend gave this to me ages ago um, and it's been in my car boot for, I kid you not, like three months. Hallie isn't, it's like a walker thing, obviously. Hallie isn't nowhere near walking or pulling herself up or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's been in my boot for ages. And every time I go to put like the weekly shop or something in the boot, it's always in the way. So I was like, oh, I'll just bring it out. She could just like play with it. She doesn't have to be walking. Now she's sat up properly and everything. Um, it's obviously a little bit easier. So yeah, that'll give me like 10 minutes to quickly make a little omelette. And then I need to, before we go out, change over the buggy from the like lay flat part to the actual sitting up part because we still haven't done that. Like, it's so bad. It's like zero to six months when they're laying flat, isn't it? And then six months plus is when they go like into the bigger kind of buggy bit. But where Hallie wasn't sat up or anything like that for ages, um, we didn't do it. And then every time I go out, it's like in my car or something, the buggy, and I'm like, Oh, like I forget or whatever. I've got some time and I'm gonna do it. Then next time we use the buggy, it's gonna be all sorted and perfect. <laughs> That's just gonna be in the background now, isn't it? But the, the sitting up part is the navy color. Oh my God, I haven't washed it since George used it. Oh my God, that's definitely chocolate. Guys, that is great. I think it's soaring, you know, like. <laughs> okay, okay. We might have to. Oh, there's bits of raisin on it. Ooh. Right, okay, we might have to abort that plan. Maybe she's gonna go in the baby carry today and then we can change over the buggy. Oh, after we've washed this, because it really needs a wash. Okay, that's one more job to do today, but anyway. Thanks. That is absolutely rank. reality of having kids I'm not tidying up for you guys because oh my gosh there's a little digger sticker on the chair <laughs> Hallie keeps trying to grab the camera so I'm gonna turn you guys off and pop you away and I'll catch up with you when we're on our walk okay, I'm leaving all the washing up for later Hallie is just quickly playing with that I'm just gonna set up her buggy I'm not gonna change over to the forward facing like sitting up part because as we saw that needs a wash um, so I'm just gonna quickly flip out a buggy but for those of you that don't know, I use the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2 buggy. And this is the buggy that we used with George. We did have a bigger one at first, um, but to be honest, we really rarely used it. Whenever we'd go to like the forest or like more of a country walk, we'd just put him in the carrier um, because it was just a lot easier like going across like muddy terrain and stuff. And then for like just path walks and like in shopping centers and any other places that you'd use a buggy, like for our lifestyle, this is the one that works for us. It's a proper city travel buggy. Um, and I love it because as you can see, it is so compact, it's so good. This is not in any way an ad, but um, I get asked a lot about it and I just think it's fantastic. I've got the newborn pack on it at the moment. Like I say, it's the life flat part, um, but it does fold up like this. This is the new one pack rather than the bassinet. That's a separate thing. Um, you can have the bassinet, obviously that doesn't fold up like this. 
um, but the newborn pack does and I just I just love it. It's just so great for everything that we need it for. So anyway, I will show you how I flip it out. Literally just unpack it, flip it like that, and it's done. I know you didn't see that properly, but just literally telling you how great it is. I use it all the time. Um, but yeah, honey, we're gonna go on the walk. Gonna go on the walk. Um, and then yeah, I will figure out how to change it to the. Uh, sitting up forward facing attachment um once i've cleaned it because yeah yeah that was just gross this newborn attachment part i actually got it on vintage second hand um so i think i'll probably sell it on vintage again when i get around to it i probably do need to clean it a little bit because there's a little bit of marks and stuff just from you know general wear and tear and then the forward facing one that we've got is a navy color um like you saw i don't know if you saw it actually um and yeah, I don't think I'll get a new one. I can't even really. It doesn't matter what colour your buggy is, does it? I thought I really wanted this colour, um, but I feel like you know when you're like nesting and you want everything to be perfect, and then reality hits, you get marks everywhere, and you don't care about it. You just want to survive. So yeah, that's how that went. Um, but yeah, let's go, honey. Let's go. Are we gonna go for a little walk, darling? Yes, we are. Let's break one. You gonna look at all the trees. walk around an area that you like wish to live in one day because <laughs> I always do <laughs> such a nice little estate like that I'm walking around right now and I'm just looking at all the houses thinking one day we might actually live in one of those have a nice little drive and a nice little semi-detached or detached house <laughs> that'd be lovely wouldn't it um not quite yet but if any of us are, I'm definitely going to look at the price on right move. Oh my gosh, right, we just got back from our walk. We actually walked for four miles. I actually can't believe it. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I was only going to go out for like 20 minutes, but then I just carried on walking. Hallie was loving it. Molly was really enjoying it. It was quite quiet. It was such a sunny day. The sun has like gone away a little bit now. Um, so we're back, but Hallie's actually due her nap in like 10 minutes. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a play. Um, I'm going to change her nappy, and then I'm going to put her down for a nap. And then... I'm going to tidy up from lunchtime because I still haven't done that and I will regret not doing that if I don't do it now. Look at this. Good girl. I definitely find now that Hallie's older, she gets bored so much easier, don't you, darling? Um, so, yeah, she's always got to have something with her, like something a little bit new, something a bit different. I can't give her the same toy like two times in a row sort of thing. Um, so getting out and about is like a must now isn't it she's trying to grab the camera if i just put you there can you see me it's gonna focus on that oh hi yes um so yeah she gets bored so much easier now um so i it's gonna just keep not focusing on me oh i mean literally what i was gonna say is that um yeah like getting out on a walk or getting in the car and going and doing something like running errands or whatever is like vital i think i'm going to um try and see if i can go into town like later in the week maybe go into town and um like drive to a different town and do some work from a cafe or something just because i feel like hallie will like be entertained by it. it'll it be new surroundings i'll really go in ah she's weird her nappy was off and she started weird ah okay crisis averted <laughs> it only went on my hand a little bit and then the rest everyone else is clean so it's all okay the other nappy was underneath so it's all fine right so let me get your trousers on and we're gonna go for a little nap oh i wish i could go for a nap that would be nice that would be nice wouldn't it yeah and like I was saying, I think I'm going to try and go into her hair. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I'm going to try and go into town with her next week and like do a little bit of editing and, and some emails and stuff um, from a cafe. And then she could like soak in the new atmosphere, get out of the house. I can get out of the house. I feel like we both really need that. And I think maybe that's something that's lacking in our like daily daily life like you guys watch my vlogs and stuff. Like I vlog during the week generally um, and it's just very savey like my life is very savey i know that that's like mum life like sorry my nose has just got really really blocked oh god 
mum life is very samey, it is very mundane, but I guess it's up to us to make it not that. Um, and it doesn't mean spending a fortune, it doesn't mean like, you know, going out to these amazing places all the time. It can just be the small thing, so I think I'm going to try that. Um, and let me know if you want to see that in a vlog or something, but yeah. 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 for now for now we're at home but uh i still feel like better when i get out of the house and like do a nice walk like that i get out of the house to do a walk every day anyway but normally it's just like a 20 minute walk like not not the longest walk in the world if i'm gonna be totally honest um, but that was really nice because we were out for ages but i think it's catching up on me a little bit because i'm feeling a little bit uh worse for wear afterwards because we've all got colds. I'm gonna take her up for a nap and then uh, gonna sort the kitchen because obviously that's a absolute mess from earlier. <laughs> okay, I finally got her down. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, she just really didn't wanna go down for a nap, bless her. So I think I've actually just decided that I'm going to start dinner. I know that it's not even dinner time, nowhere near it, uh, but the, the like I've got washing up and rubbish and cooking stuff to like clear up. And I thought, well, I'm gonna cook dinner in a couple of hours anyway, so I might as well just do it now. And then I don't have to tidy up twice. I'll do it now, tidy up, and then pick George up from nursery. And then I don't have to tidy up or cook dinner whilst he's here. So instead of working harder, I'm going to work smarter. I love that saying, but I never really knew what it meant. But I feel like it means that, maybe. Um, also, Ash just texted me and he said that he's going to be home in like just under an hour. So I'm hoping... Of course, Hallie didn't go down for a nap when I thought she was going to. It took like half an hour longer than I thought. Um, hopefully, he can stay here while she's napping. She can get a good sleep. I don't have to wake her up. I can go get George. Um, and dinner will be sorted. And maybe maybe even Ash can tidy up. Who knows? Um, but I, I doubt it. Um, I will probably want to shower and stuff when he gets home. I'm going to go for a workout tonight um, at my fitness class that I go to on a Monday. Uh, so if I get dinner sorted, then he can actually sort the kids and tidy up. Like, there's no excuses <laughs> for him not to do that if he's going to be home early. The kids, hopefully, fingers crossed, are in a decent mood. If Hallie's had two decent naps, then we should be okay in terms of her. We'll see how George is after nursery because it's very hit or miss sometimes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to cook dinner. We actually didn't get HelloFresh this week because I paused the subscription so that I could see if I could do like a little weekly meal plan on my own using HelloFresh recipes. But I got the stuff from the, the shop instead because I've got all of these like recipe cards. So I thought it'd be a good chance to just use the recipes, um, get the ingredients from the shop and see like what a weekly shop would cost. It actually only cost me £100 and that includes um like nappies it didn't include formula um because we already had formula but it did include nappies and toiletries and like oh some floss and i've got george new toothbrush like some bits and bobs like that and included five meals for the week um so i'm doing a thai veggie noodle bowl tonight we've also got chipotle chicken burrito bowl tomorrow pork ragu um the day after chicken sag curry um is it sag sag don't know on thursday and then a creamy veg pesto pasta on friday all really really simple meals they're all the um 20 minute meals from hello fresh but obviously like i said i got the ingredients from the shop it works out all right it just requires a little bit more planning going to the shop obviously but to be honest i just wanted i wanted like an hour away from the kids when it came on like saturday i think it was because wow it was the weekend was a lot, like it was a lot. Um, so it literally felt like I was having a spa day going to the shops on my own. Um, so yeah, I've got that and I'm gonna cook my Thai and veggie noodle bowl. Yeah. Okay, I'm definitely improvising like a lot. <laughs> so some of the things I don't have, I thought I had them, but I don't. There's like a Thai spice mix thing on the recipe. I haven't got like a Thai mix and I don't know what would be in a Thai mix, but I've got Chinese five spice and I'm gonna, give it a go. I have a feeling that there's like different things in these, but you know what? Like I don't know what Thai spices are. I've probably got them in the cupboard, but I don't want to waste time. And I haven't got the yellow Thai paste that it had, but I have got red Thai curry paste. All of these things are going to taste nice. Like soy sauce, peanut butter, coconut milk. Like we can't go wrong, right? I've got the recipe up on my phone. You can go on the HelloFresh app and, um, look at the recipes for like different weeks and stuff and it tells you like how to cook each each one and obviously if you know roughly what the recipe is um so trim the pack choy choy i'm not gonna bore you with this process because i'm probably gonna f it up like quite a few times 
<laughs> but I'll show you what it looks like, like when it's been served up a little bit later. Um, Ash is at home with Helly and I've just got in the car on my own. There's this insane sense of freedom when you get in the car with no kids, like when your daily life is very much like being, you know, <laughs> constantly like climbed on and needed. Um, it's just really weird when you're like alone, alone. Like I'm in the car and there's no one here. And that literally just never happens. Like it was so funny yesterday. I was um, looking on the ring doorbell, like, for some footage or of something because we saw, like, someone come up to the house and then they just went away. I think they just thought that our house was, like, an alleyway, but it wasn't. Anyway, um, but then I was looking on, like, the ring doorbell and it was, like, all the times I've gone in and out of the house and all the times Ash has gone in and out of the house. And it's just hilarious because I'm always juggling both the kids, trying to push, like, the Duna car seat, carry George, carry all the bags... Have, like George is having like tantrums or like really need the toilet or like just asking me like a million questions or crying or whatever or, or laughing and like making jokes or whatever like that there's just loads of like scenarios of me juggling and dropping things and it's always just like carnage and I've always got so many things around me and then it's just Ash walking in and out with his cup of coffee like on his way to work and on his way back from work and I was just like wow like if that doesn't sum up like the default parent thing i don't know what does because that is it was just so funny to see the contrast he's just on his own like most of the time and then i'm the one with all the kids all the time and it's just like you don't see it as starkly as that and then you see the two things like next to each other like that and it's like wow there's a stark contrast here and our lives are very different um and it's it's interesting like obviously to be honest i think we both wish that we had parts of each other's lives like quite a lot of the time I think Ash feels like he misses out on lots of stuff with the kids and I feel like I miss out a little bit on my like alone time I guess or like just you know breathing time and <laughs> like I've left uh, for nursery like five minutes early so I can chat to you guys I can just like not have to worry about like anything and it's just nice um don't get me wrong like I much prefer my end of the deal even though it's hard and even though being the default parent comes with its challenges like I 100% prefer my end of the deal I love that I can spend so much time with my kids I love that I can be the default parent I love that I can be the default like caregiver and you know hugger and snack maker and as much as it's tiring like it's also the best job in the world like I love it and I'm I'm excited to go and see George I want to go and see what his day's been like it's also really nice when I get to go and pick George up from nursery without Hallie because I can focus solely on him I don't have to worry about her being in the buggy other kids kind of coming up towards her and stuff and like getting in, in and out of nursery with the buggy and George and Hallie and it's just it's, it's a bit of a faff sometimes and sometimes you're so stuck in like oh you don't want to get in someone else's way and you're you you know all of that faff that actually when I go and pick George up just him I can go in I can completely concentrate on him I don't have to worry about Hallie like being upset because of whatever like me walking away or or, or me not like you know doing something for her you know, I could be solely focused on him, I can talk to him completely, um, and yeah, and it, I, he is like a different child as well when he's got like the sole attention, um, I think most of them are like, especially when there's been the adjustment from like being the centre of someone's universe to like sharing that space with a sibling, I spoke about that recently actually uh, in my video about going from one to two kids, um, yeah it's a big transition and like I, I feel like we're still in that transition definitely, like I'm learning so much, George is learning, it's just, you know, 
it's just like this whole thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go pick him up and then I will catch up with you later. I'm not going to vlog um, with the kids at home just because I do just want to focus on them. I get the best out of them both when I'm not trying to faff about with like on my phone or on the camera. I think I'm going to make a change about like how I do things um, and only pick up the camera when it feels right and not worry about like what my vlog looks like and, and all that kind of stuff like I definitely don't feel like I do too much of that but I just I just don't need to do it and I don't need to put the pressure on myself or the like situation um to just get out the camera to like show reality and stuff like that because sometimes that reality like it's implied do you know what I mean like you know the struggles because you're doing it yourself and you don't need to see it on the screen I feel like sometimes maybe I share a little bit too much um and yeah that's just a little thing that I'm navigating but anyway let's go pick up George um and then I will catch up with you a little bit later yeah. daddy's opening the door for us look I say hey I play with Hayden a little bit. Oh, okay. I put in a train. Oh. What's your favourite food? Broccoli and sandwiches. Broccoli and sandwiches. Stanky in the dog warm pants. Okie dokie then. Tower together. No, no, I try and pile this square. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? Gruffalo. You want and the gruffalo. So yes. you want Georgie and Joseph and Parker to go on the adventure with the gruffalo. Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Hello. It's all done. <gasps> good girl. <laughs> Okay, we've all finished dinner. The boys are just having a bath because they were out in the garden planting some seedlings they did a couple of weeks ago. Um, they've been in the windowsill, like germinating or something. I'm not, I'm not a gardener. Yeah, they were like growing in the windowsill and they've grown enough so that they can plant them in the garden and they love doing that together. I am not part of that whatsoever. I like, it's like the little bonding thing they do. Now they're having a bath and then it's time for Hallie to have a bath and I've still got a good 20 minutes before I have to leave to go to my fitness class and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so bunged up though, like, I just can't wait to have a cup of tea um, and lay on the sofa if I'm totally honest. Cause I feel like, yeah, although I've had like a pretty chill day, you don't just rest because you're constantly like trying to do things at certain times like even though we went out for a lovely walk and stuff my leg is hurting a little bit i mentioned it in a vlog last week um i've got like a really bad dodgy egg basically since pregnancy and postpartum it's just like my hip and my leg where it connects like it's just really sore basically when i do any impact exercises including walking like it's that yeah it's that sort of it just really hurts like if i move my leg sort of ajar a little bit like it really hurts it's just it's just not right um and i'm going to physio and stuff i mentioned this in my other video i am doing physio and stuff but so many people recommended um going to see an osteopath um on the back of that video and i've had like really like genuinely so many recommendations in my dms and stuff um so i am looking into osteopaths in my area if i'm totally honest i don't know anything about it um it's something that i'll have to pay for obviously but you know what like it's just something that I would be absolutely willing to pay for if it is going to sort it out because physio is not doing anything. Um, so yeah, we shall see um, the joys of being a woman because uh, it's all to do with bloody pregnancy and hormones and all of it. Um, Hallie's just playing with a bag of nappies. <laughs> Downstairs is all clean and tidy. One kid is in the bath. Other kids going in in a minute. I'm going to be leaving the house. Um, so yeah, I think that's a successful day. I'm gonna go get ready for my fitness class, but thank you so much for watching this little day in the life, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And then for now, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better.